This is your latest tax refund update. The IRS is making progress on key areas slowed by the pandemic, but more work remains, according to IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. If you're still waiting for your tax refund, then you'll want to watch this video. If you're no longer waiting, then consider yourself lucky, but keep watching anyway, because later on, I'll share with you some key insights by IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Hi, I'm Noel Lorenzana, your friendly neighborhood accountant. According to their latest news bulletin, the IRS is opening mail within normal timeframes and all paper and electronic individual returns received prior to April 2021 have been processed if the return had no errors or did not require further review. As of September 18, they had 7.8 million unprocessed individual returns. What exactly are unprocessed returns? Unprocessed individual returns include tax year 2020 tax returns with errors and those returns requiring special handling, such as those that require correction to the recovery rebate credit amount or validation of 2019 income used to figure the earned income tax credit and additional child tax credit. These returns require special handling by an IRS employee so in these instances, it could take an additional 90 to 120 days to process. Unfortunately, the IRS is having to correct significantly more errors on tax returns than in previous years. This is due mostly to the last minute tax changes. The good news is the IRS has reduced the number of returns requiring special handling from a historical high of 9.8 million on May 1st, 2021 to the current level of 260,000 individual returns as of September 18. So you see, the IRS is getting caught up. So if you're still waiting for your tax refund, hang in there because it's coming. What about amended tax returns? According to the IRS, the status of processing form 1040X amended individual tax returns as of September 18 was 2.8 million unprocessed amended tax returns. So who is Chuck Reddig and why should you care? Chuck Reddig is the IRS commissioner. In other words, the top dog at the IRS. And he reports directly to Congress. He recently wrote a letter to taxpayers offering some key insights on this challenging tax season that the IRS is still working through. Here are some highlights. Dear taxpayer, our agency and our people have had to really step up in the past year and a half to provide even more support to Americans in need. And just like businesses and other agencies around the country, we had to pause or modify some operations during the pandemic until we had safe and secure remote operations in place to enable our employees to perform their work and serve taxpayers. We appreciate and understand the frustration caused by the high volume of manually processed returns, the limited information available to taxpayers about the status of the return processing, the refund delays, and the difficulty reaching IRS employees. We also understand that complex tax issues, recent legislation, and the pandemic have record numbers of taxpayers looking for help. To put this in perspective, the IRS has received 199 million phone calls the first six months of the year, five times the normal annual volume, and we have manually reviewed 11 times more tax returns this year, 11 million, to correct errors and gather missing information from taxpayers. We know this has been and continues to be a frustrating time for many taxpayers and tax professionals, and it's been a challenging time for all of us at the IRS as well. We have done the best we could under the circumstances and we will continue to do our best as we face the current challenges. I wanted to give you a glimpse of what we're facing inside the IRS and what we're doing to help struggling taxpayers and to get caught up during this unprecedented time. Let me know in the comments what you think of Chuck Reddick's letter to taxpayers. If you liked the video and wanna see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.